Hi guys, it's Holly. Today I have a thrift haul. It's been such a long time since I filmed one. Like literally, I think since, besides the thrift swap I have done, it's been a very long time. Like I think my last thrift haul, I had still had long hair, which I cut my hair, but it's in a bun, so wouldn't even know. All right, I haven't been thrifting all that much. Like I haven't done like an in-person like thrift trip in a couple weeks now and I don't see myself going to the thrift store anytime soon. So like half of, well a good chunk of the stuff is also online. I thrift through eBay. I just think it has the best like search usability. Userability, usability, anyway. I like it more than like Poshmark and Depop. So um Let's get into it. Okay, this first thing I literally got yesterday in the mail and I waited, I waited until this had arrived before filming this video, so I have to obviously show it first. Um, I picked up this vintage sweater vest and it is this really fun purple color with like orangey and cream diamonds and it's like slightly cropped. Is this not the most, oh, they're my neighbors. Is this not like the most amazing sweater vest you've ever seen? It's vintage Liz Sport. I literally love Liz Sport, Liz Claiborne. Like she does no wrong. Um, I paid more than I would have wanted to for this, but because it is such like an iconic piece, I like was okay with spending, I think I spent like $30 on it or $25 on it, maybe $20, I don't remember. Oops. Um, and free shipping though. Yes. Reminds me of like a House of Sunny or like those really trendy like Pinteresty brands right now and I thought it would look really cute just like plain or with a little white shirt underneath and I'm just obsessed with it. I'm gonna wear it literally every day. Okay I also, oh there's so much of my hair on this, whatever. I picked this up from eBay as well. It is just like a shirt jacket, this vintage shirt jacket. It's like a really cute blue plaid. Um, I feel like we often think of like a flannel being like red or something, so I really like the blue of this one. Um, I think it's like pretty like fitting on me. It's not super oversized, but it's a really nice kind of wool texture and I really like everything about it. It's by the brand Montgomery Ward and it's size small. My mom was like, oh my god, Montgomery Ward, like that was like... She, she was trying to say it was like a pretty like cheap brand back in the day and she thought it was really funny that I was like going out of my way to buy it on eBay but I think this is like the perfect the perfect shirt jacket. It's a little cold now to wear it but I think it's really cute and I don't know if I like the black buttons. I might change them. I'm not sure. I heard they came missing a button and I just I put on a random black button. But this I picked up in person at Salvation Army and it's just this cute little silk little like button tank. Um, it's by the brand Silk Exchange size large and I think it's super cute. I don't think I've shown this but um, I think it looks really cute like buttoned up as a shirt. Um, over trousers, even like jeans too, but I really only ever wear trousers. Um, and then also looks really cute, like thrown over like a tiny little shirt with trousers. It's just really cute. Um, although I don't really know how much wear I'll be getting out of it anytime soon because it's kind of cold now. So I picked this up in person at Salvation Army and I didn't really look at it well enough. It's a bit more damaged than I thought it was, but I don't really care all that much because I don't care if things are damaged. I'm happy to be giving them a second life, but it's by the brand CS Signature. It's a size medium, and it is this kind of like taupey, brownie, olivey, I don't quite know the best way to describe it, um, polyester jacket, but it kind of looks leather. Um, and it's just like kind of like a typical short trench Style. It only has one button, so I think I'm just gonna find some brown buttons to replace them or I might just put on a completely new button. I'm not sure because it's, like I said, missing all of them. Um, there are buttons on the sleeves. I might take those off because they're not really used for anything. But yeah, there's like damage around the collar, damage around some seams, but I thought it was really cute and I wish I had been able to wear it, but it, again, it's getting kind of cold, so I'm not sure, but... It's a really cute little staple, so I'm not um, 
I will be wearing it in whatever next season I can. I picked this up off of eBay and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen it on my Instagram page, but it is this really amazing, totally vintage mohair cardigan sweater. It's by Colebrook in Italy and it's a mohair wool and nylon sweater. I've been super into like mohair sweaters since my thrift um, swap the little plaid cardigan I had. I'm obsessed with that texture. So I found this literally like my dream cardigan. I think it is so beautiful. And it's just got a cute little like, not balloon sleeve totally, but all over the sweater are these cute little blue, almost like hearts. I don't know, it's super cute. And it's like such a closet staple. I'm gonna be probably wearing this for like the rest of my life. As I said, I really only ever wear trousers. I rarely wear jeans. Um, so trousers I'm obsessed with and I like, it's so hard for me to say no to a pair of trousers. It's actually like a problem of mine, but I picked these trousers up when I was in person at Salvation Army and I've resized them. So I've, I've lost some weight and a lot of pants I've like don't really fit me anymore and like when I go to the thrift store I'm like kind of confused about what fits me so I now buy things thinking I will be um, taking in the waist so I can like show you really fast what I do. I'll show it on a different pair because this one's not the best example but I picked up these like super wide leg trousers. They're really long. I'm fairly tall. I'm almost 5'8". And they're actually too long for me, even when I'm wearing docks. So I do need to, I think, hem them, but that will be for a different day. And they are these vintage YSL pants. They were like $2. It was crazy. But they were too big. So what I did is I just like took them up the crotch. This is what I took in. So it made the waist fit me like pretty much perfectly. And then I just reattached the tag because I wanted the tag. Um, yeah, I think they're really fun. Like I said, they're really high-waisted. They look a little see-through, but they're not that bad. Um, and I just really like the idea of a super wide leg baggy trouser. So and they are vintage YSL, so I like had to pick them up. Okay, this pair of trousers I haven't taken in yet, so keep that in mind, especially in the try-on, they are too big, but I've posted these on my Instagram already. They're not vintage, but they are just a pair of like chocolate brown, although they're not chocolate brown, they're just brown um, trousers. They're just like a straight leg slack. They are men's, um, oh my God, what brand are these? I totally forget. Van, Huesen, Van Housen? Um, and they're just like a perfect, brown trousers so I still need to take them in in the waist it's gonna mess up the back pockets but like I don't use back pockets so I don't really care and I'd rather have them fit so I'm gonna take these in at the waist but these are really cute regardless and I really like the length of them and I really like the color and the cut these next pair of trousers like fit me literally like a glove I'm so happy with them and they are a more straight fitting trouser as opposed to like a wide leg or yeah, so besides a wide leg. They're by the brand Savion, made in Ukraine. As you guys know, I want to dress like literally <laughs> like a Soviet teen. <laughs> or I shouldn't say teen, like a Soviet, like young adult. I I'm not a teenager. I need to remember that. But they're just like really high waisted. They're just like the perfect like skinny leg trouser. Um, there's a little bit of texture to them. Are they wool? What are they? Oh no, they're polyester and rayon, but they're perfect. And like I said, they fit my waist like perfectly right now, which is really nice. Because like I said, I've been having to resize pants, but yeah, they're really fun. You guys know I love black trousers. Okay, this next pair of trousers is another black pair, but these are really fun because they're like knit. So they give me like so much more of like a... Um, not athleisure, but just more of like a leisure type of fit. So they're these knit black um, straight leg pants. I think I'm gonna take the hem down a little bit because that's like a pretty thick hem and I want them a smidge longer. Oh, actually I don't think I can do that, but that's okay. They're by the brand Alfred Dunner and I did 
resize them like to sneeze. They remind me a lot of like some sort of like k-pop style pant which I'm a really big fan of where it's tighter in like the waist and the butt and then it's kind of less uh, form-fitting around the legs. Um, since these are knit they like stretch out which is super frustrating and I do have to fix a couple of the seams but they're really fun regardless and like I said because they're that knit they're just like way more comfortable and they just look so cute and this last pair of trousers i have <laughs> strings hanging off of them i need to fix but i picked these up in person in salvation army and these are like my dream um career pant i think they're so cute so they are this like beigey pretty much just like an overall beige stripe theme to them and they're just like you know not a flare, not really wide, they're just like straight. It was, it was made in America by the brand Women with a Y except, uh, instead of an E in the word women. Um, so I think you like, I looked them up on eBay and they definitely had a good amount of stuff, but I don't know if they're vintage or not, or they could just be made in the US in present time. I wouldn't know. But I had to cut the tag out to resize them, but they're perfect and they're super high waisted and they're really cute. Uh, I think the butt and the crotch got a little messed up when I fixed it, but like, girl, why are you staring at my coochie and my butt? This is probably like the oldest item in this thrift haul. I don't know why I haven't shown it, but it's been a while. Um, so I picked up this St. John's Bay um, men's button down, and it's just, just this really fun green kind of plaid print. Um, I love these types of button down shirts in the summertime. Um, I just like to throw them on over stuff. I was like, um, almost like a little over shirt. Like if I have like a little crop top on, I just put that on. Um, and I also like to just have it buttoned up over some like cycling shorts in the summer. That being said, it's not summer anymore. So right after this, I'm actually gonna be putting it up um, with my summer clothes, but it's just really fun. And um, I've been look I have been looking for kind of this type of shirt in this green color for a while. All right, this is really wrinkly. Um, this is a cold water creek dress. I always find cold water creek at the thrift store. It's just this really fun um, dress. It is oversized on me, so I do need to take it in a little bit at the waist, but it's been a project I've just been postponing. But it's this super fun vintage style dress, this beautiful green color with white polka dots. Um, it's just so fun. I love this dress so much. It's so comfortable. It's so like flowy and really pretty. I've gotten compliments on it when I've worn it. It looks really good with like a hairstyle like this, my bigger gold hoops, a black mask, um, and some boots or sneakers. And it's just so fun. And I love it a lot. And I was so happy when I saw it. It was like an immediate like put in cart <laughs> in one motion. <laughs> this is kind of an out of left field purchase. I had seen some girlies on like Instagram and Pinterest wearing really similar like prairie dresses to this. It's by the brand Metro Wear. It's a really cute tag. Um, it was big, so I just like took it in all along the side, but it's just this white prairie style dress. It has like sequins <laughs> on the lace trim um, that I'm in the process of taking off but I, I put a pause on that for this video. Um, it doesn't fit me perfectly, and it is, like I said, a little out of left field, but I thought it could look really like cottage core in the summertime with like a cute little crop top or even like style it more streetwear with a hoodie or something. But regardless, it's a really comfortable skirt, so slowing down, only a couple things left. Um, I don't know why I picked this up. I like do, but I like don't in the same breath. Um, <laughs> I got this off of eBay. It's this gray um, crew neck. It has like a mock neck, which I do really like. It came with like the built-in collar, like a very grandma style, but uh, it actually like was way too tight on my neck. I don't love how turtlenecks feel on my neck, so I cut it out. Now it's just like a plain mock neck. Um, it's really cute. It says grandmas are very special people and it has like strawberries on it And I do think it's really cute. I just like I just don't fully get why I bought it 
I mean, it's like gonna keep me warm. Anyways, grandmas are very special people though, so. I picked up this skirt, Salvation Army. It's by the brand Midtown West Apparel that was made in the USA, so I think it's probably vintage from like the 90s or the early 2000s. Um, and it's just this black straight skirt with slits on each side. It reminds me of that like UNIF skirt. I don't know, I don't go on UNIF's website, so I only ever see things in passing. I hear it through the grapevine, so I think it reminds me of a skirt from UNIF. Um, I did take it in at the waist because it was a little big, but I think it's really cute regardless, even with this sweater vest and like boots. Cute. I mean like it's a black skirt so this next item is another vintage Liz Sport it is just this lamb's wool and acrylic cardigan and it's really really cute it's even though it is vintage it's there's no damage to it even like this ribbon here like it just looks so good there's a lot of my hair on it though and it's just super preppy Kind of reminds me almost like of something from Chanel, especially with these pockets. Um, but it looks just like really good with jeans and a trouser, with trousers and like literally everything. It's just a cute little um, cardigan. So you can't really <laughs> go wrong with something like this. And this last item I still need to alter a little bit, but it is a set. And it kind of reminds me of something maybe from like, um, oh my God, what's the brand again? Paloma Wool or something? I don't know. It like gives me kind of like trendy vibes. Um, so it came with, oh, I should tell you, the brand is Essentials, is it Essentials Worthington, or Essentials by Worthington. I think it's vintage, made in the USA. So the first piece is just this long black shirt. It's got this like really cool texture to it. So I think that's really fun. And I love how long it is. And then it came with this skirt, which I just need to hem. And it's like that same really cool texture. So I wanna hem it so it's a lot shorter. And I think it would look so cute with like the shirt and then you can see the skirt just barely peeking through. Um, yeah, I think these are really cute. And regardless if I wear them as a set or not, I think they're a really cute little stylish little set. It is this Zara blouse. It is. It was in a size large, so I'm working on resizing it because I didn't know it was not going to fit the way it did. Um, it's really pretty because it has this incredible puff sleeve detail. Kind of runches. Um, definitely is a little out of my style comfort zone, but I think it's really cute. I might try to make it into like a square neck shirt or something. I'm not entirely sure, but... It's a very cute regardless, and I just have like been, you can't even like tell, it looks like it's part of the shirt, adding like darts at the back, but super cute regardless, and I got it for like, probably around 10 bucks. Okay, I literally think that was everything. A lot more stuff than I remembered, but keep in mind this has been like, four months of not hauling things and I'm very much slowing down on my thrifting so so I won't probably have another thrift haul for a while but I do want to do other videos and I'm getting a shed it's like an office space for me um in my backyard because I'm not moving out like ever so I just need like a space for like doing schoolwork and like work work and so there'll be a lot of videos based around that and that's everything make sure to comment what your favorite item was down below and follow me on all my social media which is always in the description and i'll talk to you guys in my next one bye okay i don't know if everything anything's different but i totally forgot about this one <laughs> this one item because it fell off my bed um salvation army i think has like a thing going on with like zara and like there's another store i don't know it's very weird because there's no Zara like literally anywhere near me.